surrounded by the police force. Yes. Yes. Have you ever had your house kicked in, your doors kicked in and arrested? Have you ever been told to get on the ground and they handcuffed you and mace you? Yes. Has that happened to you? Let's hear it. Has it happened to you? Yes. Now you know what it's like to be an Indian. Because you are the new Indians. You are the new Indians of today. You're the ones they're coming after now. Yeah. Peace activists are now under the fire of the FBI. We will go to any length to try to quell or try to avoid bad news or try to, they'll even fabricate evidence as they did in Leonard Peltier. The wounded knee cases, 1973, we had over 500 people charged with various criminal charges. We only had one conviction out of 500, and he was a non-Indian supporter. So occasionally the FBI will come in waves at dissent, be it American Indian, be it American Caucasian, blacks. We all know what they did to defame and degrade, demean Dr. Martin Luther King. We know what they did to the young lady here that was whistleblower who tried to give warning about 9-11. So they have a long history of, they will not only try to stop any kind of dissent, they will create evidence. They will coerce witnesses. They will rig the jury. They will stop at no means in order to try to quell or try to limit dissent against government policy. And for the first time in history, for the first time in history, without congressional approval, presidential approval, Jagger Hoover tested his new plan to eliminate all forms of public dissent. All forms of public dissent like join on right here today. And he tested it. He tested it on wounded knee. Even before we went to Wounded Knee that night, the armored personnel carriers were already there. We found that out during the trial. It's estimated they spent over $5 million on that trial here in St. Paul. And the judge had enough. Rivers of justice. I quote him. The rivers of justice have been muddied in my courtroom for nine and a half months. It's not the Indian people that are guilty here, it's the United States federal government. It's the Federal Bureau of Investigation. It's the United States Justice Department. It's the Gold Squad. Some of you might have read a book by a local FBI agent in charge. His name was Joseph Trimbach. It said, AIM, American Indian Mafia, he called us. But what he didn't say in the book is that the judge banned him from the courtroom because they found out that he got illegal wiretaps. Well, we're still here, we're still struggling. Uh, John Wayne didn't kill all of us. <laughs> our movement is very strong today. We're getting our language back, our culture, our traditional way of life. We have to walk all the way across America in 1978. From 1890 to 1978, we weren't even allowed to pray, sing, dance, speak our language, etc. But uh, we formed, we organized, we worked hard. We got our own schools today, our own job training, our own legal rights center, our own housing, you name it. We have those things today.